So what I mean by playing over the bar line is essentially um, taking away this notion of symmetry and delaying or anticipating resolutions. So instead of going one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, everything is a bar each. I might go one, two, three, four, two, three. Now I'm anticipating by a beat. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I mean, there are lots of ways we can subdivide things. It can be a tied note, a dotted note. But sometimes it can be very effective to land on the downbeat if that's shortening the, the, the normal length of the phrase. So. One, two, three, four. So that means we have a three beat phrase instead of a four beat phrase. Uh, there are some melodies that have these kinds of rhythmic notation built into the melody. Learn any melody from Thelonious Monk and you're going to have lots of phrases automatically over the bar contained in the written melody. One of his most famous ones is called Straight Note Chaser, it's just a blues, and he does this, etc, etc. So lots of over the bar line things contained in written melodies from the bebop musicians. So perhaps one way to begin to think uh, in terms of less symmetrical phrasing in your solos is to learn some melodies that have some of these rhythmic over the bar line uh, concepts built into the melody. So one way to begin to develop a good internalized pulse is to practice with the metronome. Some people suggest doing this on two and four, some people suggest doing it with quarter notes, but you can practice specific rhythms like triplets or dotted notes or tied notes. But the idea is no matter how syncopated or how over the bar you're playing, this pulse is clicking away in your head, either two and four or as quarter notes. So no matter what I'm playing, assuming I'm playing in time, that metronome is still clicking. Now this also is something that can vary a bit when you're playing with other people. Sometimes a song will maybe be a little bit faster at the end than it is in the beginning because of the natural adrenaline of the whole band. So we're not necessarily trying to be metronomes when we play with other musicians, but this notion of a clear internalized pulse is, is critical. So let's demonstrate playing Autumn Leaves. Uh, the click track that we have now is going to be quarter notes. So one, two, three, four. What I'm going to try to do is demonstrate some over the bar line feeling. Maybe what we might do is have me play along with the click, then I can try to demonstrate some of the same concepts without the click. So here's a couple of courses of Autumn Leaves using the click track. One, two, one, two, three, four. So there's two courses of autumn leaves. Now that can feel a little constrained to have the click going, but that allows you to begin to think about some of those, uh, some of those kinds of freedoms. Now, rather than do two courses, let me do something without the click for a second, and then we're going to do the click on two and four. But I want you to see if you can, having heard me do this with the click, see if you can practice internalizing that click. So we're going to do a couple of A's of autumn leaves without the click, but your job is to try to internalize this pulse. One, two, one, two, three.
So there it is without the click, but hopefully what I was doing implied the click well enough that this was going on in your head. Typically, actually, if I'm playing a swing tune, I'm not hearing quarter notes, I'm hearing two and four. So we, what we might try now is me doing another version of Autumn Leaves where we have the click on two and four. So if we can adjust the click to about here. So you might hear this as quarter notes, one, but if you're hearing this as two and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that probably would be maybe 80 or 90, I would guess. We'll find out. Let's see where we are. Okay, that's good. So that might feel like quarter notes to you. One, Two, but if we adjust that to think of that as two and four, one, two, three, four, it's roughly the same tempo as where I just was. And if I'm playing a swing tune, I'm typically clicking two and four in my head. Here we are, Autumn Leaves again, two courses with the click now is two and four. One, two, three, four. The metronome feels like you're swinging a little more if you, can, if you can internalize those clicks as two and four. And I would argue that both quarter note practice routine and the two and four click are useful ways to hear the metronome as a practice tool. So this notion of using the melody to internalize the form is also helpful. I'm generally singing the melody to myself while I'm soloing, whatever that melody happens to be. Some are easier to sing than others. Certainly Autumn Leaves, you should not have an issue singing. Uh, sometimes I'm referencing the harmonic rhythms of the tune or maybe some of the melodic content in the tune in my solo so that my solo feels like it's somehow created in the context of the tune. Some tunes are easier to do this with than others. But what we want to try to avoid doing is recycling the same riff from song to song. So using the melody as a, as a potential tool to create content, melodic or harmonic or rhythmic content in our solo was very useful.